Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dangin. Today, we're here in my office and we're gonna test a brand new sound bar. Stick around. Nice to be in orbit. Hey everyone. Like I mentioned before, today we're here in the Dangin, and this is my workstation. So it's kind of a mess. I've got my work monitors behind me, my iPad, and even my Steam Deck for when I need to uh, take a break from a work day. Well, today we're gonna address a little bit of a change where I was sent a brand new stage solo sound bar. Now, this comes from a company called Cool Me Tech. We're gonna plug this baby in underneath my main monitor here, and we're gonna test out a few different devices. I'll let you know how it works out. I think it'll be really nice to have a good sounding sound bar with some RGB and different connectivity options here in my office, so I can listen to tunes or YouTube videos or even work calls uh, with much better clarity. So thanks for joining me here on The Danger. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe below, and let's get going. All right, guys, let's begin today's video with unboxing the Stage Solo Mini Soundbar. On the front of the box, you're gonna find that it has Bluetooth 5.3. It works as USB Hi-Fi audio, so if you plug it into your PC via USB, you'll get a little bit better connection. It also has other connection options such as a headphone jack, a three and a half millimeter jack to take from your PC or another device, and it has some RGB lights. The volume control is relatively simple. It's controlled by a knob on the right hand side, and it has tons of different one touch button control options. So you can change the color of the lights, you can have it uh, play the colors and bounce with the music. It really is rather versatile. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's inside. So it looks like this thing comes with two main components. Obviously the first one being the sound bar wrapped in cellophane plastic and you can see that there's a power cord. And then you also have an instruction manual that says stage solo sound bar right here. And that has a three and a half millimeter aux cable. Let's open up this and see what the sound stage bar looks like. Once you undo the packaging here, you'll notice that it has a nice metal front grill finish with the stage solo insignia on the right hand side. You can also see the little insignia here. It's like a V pattern. Uh, overall feels really nice as far as build quality. It has two rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna go anywhere when it's on your desk. On the back, you'll see that there's some instructions for how to operate it. To power it on and off, you can hold the power button for two seconds. For one press, you can play and pause in USB mode and in Bluetooth mode. And then you can mute all by pressing once as well. And then to switch connection modes, you just hit it twice. And to change the LED, you hit it one, two, three times. So also on the back, you'll notice that there are the two inputs I talked about before. One is the headphone jack and one is the auxiliary jack. And then on the back, obviously it's powered with USB. That's probably the ideal connection that you'll wanna use if you're gonna play music through this thing because it might sound the best. Next, let's open up the instruction manual, manual and see what's in there. Looks like you have a quick user manual, nothing new, but it also, like I mentioned, comes with a three and a half millimeter uh, aux cable. So you can plug it into several devices. Let's take it over to the Dangin and where I'm set up on my workstation and get this thing plugged in. Okay guys, to make this simple, we're gonna plug this in right next to or underneath my monitor. Now this is the main monitor I use for work, 
but it has several different inputs where I actually can change between my Mac, which is on the left hand side here that you can see, and then also my Steam Deck, which is also over here. So we're going to plug this thing in right below. I know you'll, you'll see there that I already have two speakers, uh, but those are actually plugged into a different component. So this one will be much easier and more versatile for the Mac, and I won't have to use the Mac Mini speakers. So we're going to put this thing right here in the center so you can see it. And then I'm going to run this USB cable right over here to the Mac Mini. I'm not sure if you heard that, but once I plugged it in, you could hear that bass drop. That sounded really cool. Zoom in here for, for you guys a little bit. You can see that there is a blinking blue LED asking me to do some pairing. Um, so now we'll go through the different stages and see what it does when we rotate the volume knob. And it has a nice little soothing sound to turn it up and down. Which is nice. Like it said before, if you click it three times, you can change the LED color. Auxiliary in. You can change the auxiliary, you can change the USB, you can pause, you can turn off. And you can do an RGB little rainbow light as well. So let's leave that on and we're going to put some music into it now. Once you select USB audio, make sure you select USB from your computer if it's necessary and then go ahead and start playing some music. Sounds pretty good. Most definitely. I can get used to this. And I'm just playing some generic YouTube music right from my Mac. I think you guys can hear it pretty well. All right, so truthfully, this thing sounds great. And honestly, I would recommend that anybody check out at least Mikul's website and see what they have available, but this soundstage solo is perfect. It's a nice compact size. It fits right underneath your monitor. The music sounds fantastic. It's got some RGB if you're into that type of stuff. And the volume control is super easy. On the right-hand side, it has a ton of places to connect it. I really can't find a complaint. Fits in with my stuff perfectly well. Obviously, I need to do a little bit of other cleanup with some wire management and whatnot, but uh, yeah, go check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can buy one for yourself. They're $59.99 right now on their website, so pretty good deal. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video today, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe below, and I'll talk to you guys next time.